In times of uncertainty and fear, where do you find your assurance and peace? Let us begin by lifting our hearts in praise and thanks to our Heavenly Father. He is our unfailing source of strength and the steadfast anchor in the ever-changing tides of our lives. Our focus today is on Genesis chapter 26, verse 24, which says, And the Lord appeared to him the same night and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bless you and multiply your descendants for my servant Abraham's sake. In this passage, we see God appearing to Isaac in a time of great need. The context here is crucial. Isaac was navigating a path filled with challenges and uncertainties. It was in this setting of vulnerability that God's voice breaks through with a promise of presence and blessing. The words, do not fear, for I am with you, resonate deeply. They remind us that like Isaac, we are never alone. Despite the fears and uncertainties that may surround us, God's reassuring presence is a constant. The promise to Isaac was not merely about material or physical blessings. It was a deeper covenant extending through Isaac to the coming of Christ and to all who would believe in him, including us. This assurance of blessing is as relevant to us today as it was to Isaac. This verse invites us to reflect on our own lives. In our moments of fear and doubt, are we remembering God's promise to be with us? The assurance God gave to Isaac is an assurance given to us as well. In every trial and in every triumph, God is with us, guiding and blessing us. Our existence is part of God's grand narrative, a tapestry of faith that stretches from Abraham and Isaac to us. We carry this legacy, not just for our benefit, but for those who will come after us, echoing God's promises through our faith and actions. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your ever-present love and the promise of your unchanging presence in our lives. Guide us to live in the light of your promises, sharing your love and assurance with those around us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for spending this time with me in God's word. May the Lord's peace and presence be with you always. Until we meet again, keep walking in faith and hope. Farewell, my brothers and sisters in Christ.